Right, we've got another ship moving slow. It is at least something that may be worth sinking. So, we're going to change course. No, we're not going to return to course. We're going to change course. That was my bad. Uh, let's go about there. He's going slow, I think. Yeah, he's going slow, so that should be okay. I'm going to bump it up to standard just to make sure we get there in front of him. And, yep, that will do nicely. And let's change the course so that we are sort of parallel with him. And mark down his trajectory, which is like that. So we want to be... Oh, he's only five miles from there. Hmm, okay. We want to be somewhere around there. Oh, actually, he's a bit closer than that, but that's okay. And at night, he shouldn't see me for a little while yet. Let's go to Periscope now. Hopefully, he didn't see me there. And let's stop. And put up the scope. You won't see the scope at this range at night. There he is. This is a bit of a long shot, actually. Let's go ahead and move forward a little bit. Yep, that's good. And uh, we'll stop there. And wait for him. There we go. Let's see if we can see what this guy is. He's over here somewhere. There he is. Um, hmm. Medium old split, possibly. No medium old tango. Uh, he's got curved thing on top of his funnel. Oh, it could be a large old split. No, he doesn't have the beams. Uh, no, 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 no. Medium old split, that's what I thought. Yep, medium old split. Does he have any guns? I don't see any. Mm. That could be one on the front. In fact, I think that is one on the front. Like, right there. I think that, yeah, that's definitely a good idea going up there. Right, okay, we're going to torpedo this guy. Right, in that case, angle is pretty much dead on. Range, is that. Speed, I reckon he's going about 7. Keep location, torpedo settings are fine. Tracking, no, targeting computer says, you've got the bearing slightly wrong. I think he's more that way then, isn't he? Yes. Right. That looks pretty good. He may actually be going slightly slower than I put in. Let's try six and a half. How's that? No, he's actually going less than six and a half. Let's try five and a half then. Yep, that seems about right. Let's get a new distance for him, if the waves will allow me. Something like that. Like that. Angle is... Well, the angle is right, actually. Yeah, something like that. Uh, well, I've got the, the range wrong there, but, yep, I think that's good. I'm going to fire one off there. I'm just going to fire one to start with. That should be enough to at least cripple him. Here goes the torpedo. Contact camera. And right in the middle. That's the money maker right there. Yeah, it's definitely a deck gun up there. Definitely. He doesn't want to have one on the rear, though, so if he starts running away, I'll be alright. I can just pop up and deck gun him. Oh, that was a big hit. That's a massive hole in his side. He's not going to like that one little bit. 
don't think he's destroyed yet though. I think I may have to uh, pursue him a little bit. Am I going to have to pursue him? Yep, he's going to run. But that's fine. Uh, let's go two thirds and surface. Yep, run the surface now, right. Give me a range. Range is from the middle 1300 yards. Actually I'm not, not going to use the deck gun. I'm going to use the, the AA gun. Right about there. I need more AA gun practice. Oh, I'm hitting him, so that's fine. <laughs> Still hitting him, he's exploding like a... Well, I don't even know what like, but... There we go, he's dead. I love these 40mm AA guns, they are amazing. Right, well he's dead. There we go. A medium old split fighter. Where, what was it, 7,000 tons, something like that? Yeah, I know, 5,000 tons. Whatever, 5,000, 7,000, doesn't make much of a difference. A couple of thousand tons, I won't, uh, I won't know say that. Anyway, so we need to go back to course. We're already at two thirds. So, yeah. I could pick up those survivors in the, laft, in the life rafts, but, you know, I don't have space in my submarine for Japanese. There she goes. Where's my submarine in the background? Oh, it's not there. Never mind. Down she goes. Right. Okay. So, uh, no, I don't want the rid anymore. I'm going to get rid of these map markings. And then we are going this way. And back down. In fact, I'm going to make that a bit straighter. Um, I need to extend this, actually, because we're getting fairly near the end of the route. Oh, it sunk a few things down here, did we? Okay, fair enough. Right, we're going to come down here, and then through that straight there, where there always seems to be some kind of traffic. And then down here, back to Fremantle. Whoa, look at all that traffic news. Damn. Oh well, uh, we're not going near the majority of it, so we may get some more odd ships, and that would be nice. Um, we only have five forward torpedoes left. I should have fired off number one. Then I have a nice stack of four down there. Oh well, whatever. Never mind. So, yeah, onwards. How lovely. We spotted a small convoy at, like, no distance. So you know where it is. Actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know what it is. Right. So. Let's go grab that and head over here speed up that's that that's a plane we've been uh, dogged by planes all day it's been quite annoying actually but um, never mind that plane is going to see me because that guy's going to report me fantastic um, do I shoot it down? yeah battle stations Man the AA guns, fire at will, target closing targets, I'm going for the deck gun. Hmm, how far away are they? Don't know, I don't see that plane, but it's going to be there. And the aircraft guns should start firing at it any moment now. Anyway, I am going to worry about the ships. The ships, ah, oh, that one is... Hmm, 1300. Okay, let's go for... 1300, 3500. Let's go for there. 
No, that overshot by a mile. Let's get a uh, perspective view. Oh, he's only machine gunning me. If he had bombs, I would have something to be worried about. But well, he doesn't, so I'm not worried anymore. Right. Okay. Now then, it just it would just be a scout plane of anything. Let's go for three thousand on this one. No, that's slightly short. That one wasn't. That's better. Yeah, destroyed, and that one I think is slightly further away, so we'll put the range up a little bit and see what that one does. That hit him, very nice. One more should do it. I think that one's a fishing ship. Oh, well, took a sail off, so it goes slightly lower than that. Would you die, please? Like, seriously. Just die. Oh, I think that one actually missed. Am I overshooting now? Yep. Look, just die. You're not even worth the shells. Just set on fire and die. I have a shot there too. He's getting closer. Please blow up. You're not worth all these shells. You're just not. The shells are worth more than you are. I think the plane may have broken off. Thank you for finally sinking. Now where is that plane? Uh, the plane broke off. Oh well, that's fine. Return to course two thirds and stand down battle stations. Have I still my periscope up? Nope. Good. Right, let's go then. Single contact is planes. Okay, yeah, fine, we are okay. So let's go onwards then. Okay, well we've got a small convoy going right ahead of us. I changed course because there was a report of a slow moving ship over here. And uh, we've got a, sm a small convoy going right in front of us. So, yes, I know there's a ship there. I'm just about to go shoot at it. How far away is it? Oh, there's three of them. And actually, they're a fair distance away. Well, I'll change course. Why not? I can always go back to that other guy. He's only moving slow. I can catch him quite easily. Right, let's go fire these guys then. Right, that's good. And obviously as they're sandpans, they are not going to be able to fire back at me. Now then, there's one right here. Let's go and uh, AA gun him. Actually, I don't think that is a sandpan. I think that may be a junk. Enemy unit destroyed. Next. Another enemy unit destroyed. And... There's the third one. Fantastic. That's what I like to see three easily killed ships with the AA gun. Right, now then, where's the other ship supposed to be? Down there. Well, let's set a course behind it. And um, as I'm chasing it, it'll probably have to be uh, deck gunned if I even find it. Hmm, I don't see it. It should come up on radar if it's here. Or sonar. Oh. Small, co oh, it's another small convoy. Okay. Fair enough. Alright. We can deal with them. Because, you know, why not? Alright. In fact, that's probably way too close. I mean, not close enough, rather. Let's go over here. There we go. That looks
looks good. And we'll use the aft AA gun for this one, I think. How far away are they? 2,000 yards. Hmm, that could be a challenge. Oh yeah, especially since I can barely see them. Uh, let's go about there. No, okay. Whoa, okay. <laughs> okay, I thought I missed, but alright. Let's stop. I know there's another ship getting away, but... Oh, that hit him. I don't think that did. Right, I'm going to grab the map marker. And if it will let me, that is. And we're just going to go... Not there. There. Quickly, quickly, please. Thank you. Back to the aft AA gun. Where is he? There he is. Oh, that was terrible shooting. Oh, I still hit him once, though. Die, please. Why am I at standard? Yes, Could you please die? Thank you. Explode. Explode for the camera. No, he says. I don't want to. I'm shy. Oh well. Whatever. Right. Reload that. Okay. And uh, how's the... Forward air gun. Yep, yeah, that's loaded. Oh, they both have the independent ammo supplies. That's quite cool. Didn't realise that. Anyway, um, yeah, we're continuing on course, and we're going to try and find that other ship. But I'm, um, I'm not confident of finding it anymore. I don't know where it would have been. That was ten o'clock last night, so mm, it shouldn't be too far ahead. But I guess we'll see. Right. Well, we have spotted another sand pan. Like we literally like almost ran over it. It's literally right here. So I'm just going to uh, quickly change course and gun it down because, you know, any tonnage is good tonnage. So he shouldn't be far away now. Let's go to the forward AA gun. Yep, there he is. Single solitary sand pan. Having said that, this is where I'll look on the other side and there'll be like two more. Would you please die? You things take way too long to die. I'm not impressed. There we go, enemy unit destroyed. Yep, and he's all and his lonesome. Poor Sampan. Oh well. <laughs> Sampan has no friends. Lonely Sampan is lonely. Now then, is that an island? No, we're fine. Right, okay. Let's get back to course then. Right, well we've gotten here and um, I've had a change of heart. I have a few torpedoes left and I'm going to go into Sarabaya and uh, see if I can use them. We've got some planes coming overhead at the moment but um, shouldn't be too much of a problem. See, there's one. Alright, let's go. And he is gone. There we go. That's how easy plane dodging is. It's just irritating. We have to do it every two seconds. It slows you right down. Oh, he may have seen me. Never mind. I don't think he'll see me. Nope. Single contact, Single contact eh? 
Is that a plane or a ship? Nope, it's a plane. I don't care about plane contacts. I don't want to know. He's out of visual range. I don't care. What's that? That is a plane that will not be in. It will be in visual contact. Or would be. We didn't duck it. Oh, come on. Right, I'm going to skip ahead. I'm sorry. Change of plan. Again, we've got a ship over here. So that looks like a far better target than going into Sarabaya and dealing with the destroyer. Well, I, I, at least I expect there will be a destroyer. Uh, there usually is. So we're going to go up here and give me the ruler. I'm going to mark his course. It's, gonna be, it's going pretty much directly over there. That's 22 mile thing. I'm 16 miles. He is 12 miles. I'm going to bump it up to standard. And I want to be... Where do I want to be? I want to be here. And... Somewhere in there. Right. Okay, let's go. Hopefully there's no bloody planes to get in my way on the way there. That would be lovely. Oh, hello. Where's he going? He's completely changed course. Okay. Right. Well, in that case, I'm going to bump it up to flank. And we are going to go over here and cut him off. He hasn't seen me, he's just changing course. So I don't need that, I don't need that. He is now going this direction. So somewhere over there. So I'm going to catch him up here. Somewhere around here. Right. Question is, can he see me at that range? He shouldn't be able to. Most planes can't see me, they're way too far away. And I need to slow down. How far away is he now? Ah, oh, just under five miles, but it's night time, so he can't see me just yet. I'm going to keep going forward at flank, and then I'm going to go down to one third here. And I'm going to change my trajectory because he's like right there and get a new bearing on him because he's going pretty much there which means that I want to be somewhere somewhere around there so probably about halfway into that circle I think yep that looks good I'm going to stop there and I'm going to go periscope and here he comes slow right down time uh, I don't want to go to the periscope, I just want to put the periscope up. Right. He's going to be... Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to scoot forward a little bit. That's good. That will do nicely. We'll stop there. That will put him well within range. Whoa. There we go. That's good. Now let's go to the scope and see if we can see him. He'll be over here somewhere. Right, horrible seas, let's go up to 55. Where is he? Yes, sir. Oh, there he is. Um, does he have any guns? I don't see any guns. No, not on the front. Ah, now on the back, Cephas. Put the scope down. Speed up until we get to the surface. There we go. Now the waves are hideous, so where is he? Oh, he's over there. I mean, I'm on the wrong deck gun. Well, I'm on the wrong anti-aircraft gun, rather. I think he is a medium old split, possibly. I think I sunk one of these earlier, and I think it was a medium old split. But I don't remember exactly. Either way, I'm going to fill him through a full of A gun shells. And he set some fire just as I was starting to believe that maybe I wasn't doing any damage at all. There we go. 
Yeah, and he's sinking the same way as the other one as well, from the rear, even though I was blowing up his midsection. Ooh! I broke him in half with an AA gun. That's a new one. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, down he goes. Blub, 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 blub. Now, let's see. What was he? Oh, okay, he was a modern passenger liner. Whoa, actually, that's pretty good. That's nearly 7,000 tons. What was the other one I sunk before? Oh, it was a small passenger carrier. A uh, modern passenger carrier. Oh, that was nice. That was a very nice uh, ship to find. Okay, great. So he was worth more than I thought he was. And he was a different ship to where I've sunk before, which is always nice. It's always nice to have a variety of ships sunk, but I still have all my torpedoes. So I'm still going to Sarabaya. And I need to move that over there so I don't crash into something. Right, okay, onwards. Um, maybe not. <laughs> Large convoy, I'm getting the hell out of here as quickly as possible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Don't need to um, you know, come and kill me or anything. I'll, I'll be fine over here. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> yeah. That was um, mm, not nice. Anyway, okay, we're gonna go and end the patrol then. If these planes will leave me alone, leave me alone. Urgh. Planes. I hate them. Right. We are approaching Sarabaya. And, um, I need to drop out of quick speed any moment now, please. There we go. Right, otherwise I may crash into something, and that would not be good. That would not be a good end to my day. So, wherever that is, is gone. That's fine. Let's just sail into port here, shall we? Any other surprises you want to, you know, lay on me? Yeah. That, that warship there would have been nice to know about, but never mind. Let's see it. It's a destroyer of some kind. It's American though, so I don't need to worry about it. Oh, there was something over there too. Don't know where it is now, but it's gone. Never mind. Does not matter. Let's get into Fremantle. There we go. End patrol. Yes, I'm sure. Right. Oh, nice. We uh, deployed this LEBC, we engaged and destroyed enemy shipping. We sunk 21 merchant ships, one warship, uh, for, a, for a grand total of 64,003 tons. Very nice. And we got another Congressional Medal of Honor. <laughs> I now have a Congressional Medal of Honor for every day of the week. I'm going to wear a different one every day. I'm going to put little labels on them, say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And I'm going to wear a different one every day. And then these other ones, well, they can just go in the cupboard because they're useless. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Right, July 19th in Perth, Fremantle, Australia, 1943. We are almost halfway through the war. And our grand total is 744,038 tonnes. We are so close to three quarters of a million mark, it's not even funny. Uh, we will get that in maybe one ship if we're lucky. Um, these other guys, I don't know what the hell they're playing at. They're not getting anything at all. They suck hardcore. But um, let's just check out my crew. Can I give any of them promotions? No. I can, however, give them bronze stars. Who wants a bronze star? Come on, come on, line up. I'll make you dance like seals. Who wants one? Damage control team. Ah, the aft AA gun guy. Now I'm going to give, well, I'll give one to each of the deck watch leaders and one to the AA gun guy. Go on then. I'll be nice. Right. Um, there's probably some other guys here that I want to replace some of my men with, but I'll do that off camera. Um, there aren't anything else. We've got a new SJI radar. Very nice. I don't know or is it SJ-1? I think it's SJ-1 actually, but whatever. Either way, it's an improvement. And I need to go and... Oh, we've got Mark 18 torpedoes. But they are electric torpedoes and really slow. And I don't want them. They don't leave, leave any wake. But I'm having absolutely no problems with the Mark 23s. So I'm not going to go with the electric ones. Because, you know, why would I? 
they're like 400 renown more and I'm doing absolutely fine without them so I'm not going to go with them I am however going to get rid of all of these uh, mark 14s and replace them with mark 23s like so and I'm going to do the rest off camera but so, so you get the idea of, how, of what I have to do to do that um, I'm also going to sort that out and let's go look at our medals box again because that is ridiculous seven congressional medals of honor makes me wonder why i didn't get congressional medals of honor on these occasions but um never mind i guess we're just kicking so much ass that um they're going to give me so many congressional medals of honor that i will be weighed down and sort of stuck to the floor in every parade if i manage to survive the war oh well we'll see so i hope you enjoyed uh, the second episode of the chronicles of the uss baleo and getting our seventh congressional medal of honor our fifth in a row we now have one for every day of the week and nearly oh so nearly getting three quarters of a million tons of japanese uh, shipping sunk so yeah hope you enjoyed it see you next time